Okay, so we're going to do two point perspective now. And it's similar to one point perspective, but instead of having the one vanishing point, we'll have a second vanishing point. So instead of us just seeing really our object from one side, we'll see it from two sides. So this would be like if you wanted to view a building from the corner. So in a really rough way, it would be like this. So you see I'm viewing from the corner, not from the flat front. Okay, so as before, we need our horizon line. We're going to have on two vanishing points. So I'm going to draw a box right in the middle of this line first. So first of all, I'll just do a vertical line down through it. And then I need to do some converging guidelines, so nice and light ones, to both vanishing points from either end of this vertical line. Okay, so I want to now draw on the two sides of the cube. So I'll do that with parallel lines, parallel to this vertical line, so I'll use my ruler to come out there and guide me there. And same here, keeping it parallel, meaning exactly equal to that vertical line and spacing. So now that box is finished and I don't need any of these extra guidelines. So I'm going to just rub them out. And it's, because I've done it right on the middle of the horizon line, it's right at eye level, which is why you can't see the top or the bottom of it. It'd be like if you're standing in the street and you're looking at the corner of a building. So we're going to try another box above the horizon line and another one below. So for the one above, we should be looking up at it, which means that we'll see the base of it, just like we did on the first one. So I'm going to start in a similar way. Line and then joining up those points to the vanishing point with converging lines. Just stretch across here now. Obviously, I don't want to draw on my bu um, my building underneath, so I'll just go through it to avoid actually drawing on that. Okay, and now. Same with that, I decide where I want the two sides of the cuboid to go. So let's have it, make this one a narrow one there. So there and there. But now I've got the bottom to draw in. So I have to do something extra here. What I do is from this corner here, I'll create a third converging line with that vanishing point. And the same here, so from that vanishing point to that corner, there. So I've now made that, which I will go over and I will rub out all of those guidelines again. So above the horizon, looking up at it, looking up at the base on the horizon. We're going to do one now beneath the horizon line. So let's go oh, and to get the top of this now from each corner of the edge. I just need to join it up to each vanishing point. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's rub out the guideline. You see, I've got my three two point perspective boxes. There are other things that you do if you want to extend this, if you've grasped this really quickly, you could start practicing with trying to make windows and spaces inside. 
so it's really similar principle to how we've just gone there but um i'll just show you like one window within here you would use just more of those converging lines from vanishing points and i'll go there a vertical line for there so already i've got a box within a box if I wanted to make it um, look like it's more three-dimensional or like a space within, how could I do that? I could just go join that up there. Okay, so do a little bit of shading in there to make that look like more like a ledge. Mm, what am I missing? What else would I need this side of? that one there yeah okay so it now looks like our entrance way in you could play around with that see what you can get have a go